going on? Welcome, everyone. Hello, it's Courtney Rollins. I'm your uh, temporary host for this uh, afternoon's role play, Probate Mastery. Uh, here during this session, we dig into uh, really just that role playing, some of the scenarios that we come across, some of the obstacles we come across, some of the ways that we uh, handle different um, seller situations or conversations with people who can make decisions about uh, selling or listing their property. Again, I'm Courtney Rollins. Uh, Bruce uh, Hill, I had Coach Shibby popping in in a few moments, but I'm just uh, holding the space for him and just wanted to say welcome. If you want to, uh, just a reminder that this is for us, so you'll get more out of it the more you put into it. Would love for you to use the chat to talk, chat with each other, and also if you want to drop your information, what, what uh, area you're in. And um, you can do that so we can get to know you better in the chat, as well as any challenges or obstacles that you want to uh, for us to address during this role play. Oh, wow. There's a lot of people in the I may have to say all that spiel all over again. <laughs> Sorry. Look, the people are coming in here. OK, awesome. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, real quick. I just said, hey, I'm Courtney. I'm hosting today. Uh, I am a. Uh, primarily a wholesaler. That's I. I uh, am a probate property specialist in North Carolina, right in Bruce's uh, neck of the woods over here in Raleigh Durham area. Um, and I primarily wholesale. And I know a lot of people on this call are either uh, real realtors, brokers, or even a hybrid of as investors. So um, it's great that we can support each other and get a lot out of it. I see a lot of familiar faces, some awesome sharp pros. And even if you're just starting, what's up, Chuck? What's up, Dave? What's up, Cam? And all the folks we see uh, up here. Even if you're just starting out, this is great because you're in the right place to sharpen those skills. So um, without further ado, um, the way this setup is, we'll have someone, we'll role play a call. If you have some specific you want to work on, we can. And we try to get, ask everyone to think about at least one thing that went well in the conversation and perhaps one thing that the person who's participating is, can, can work on. And also note that this is a uh, role play. So we want to have people that, you know, are, well, well I don't, I won't even put any caveat on there. Well, let's just, let's just rock and roll. So do we have any volunteers? If you want to get in the queue, you can raise your hand virtually or just um, mute yourself and say, hey, I want to jump in and, and this is what I want to go over. I'll go. That is Cam the man. All right. Awesome. Does someone want to be Cam's uh, uh, the personal representative or the realtor or the or, or, or the, the whoever he can speak to? Someone want to be that? Cam, is there a particular type of person you want to be um, speaking to or address or is it just open and take it as you can? Um, some of you have it set up. Some that you, so this is a follow-up call? Yeah, well, no, tell me, have it, um, it's already set up, the uh, attorney, but then try uh, to let me get in there if I'm yeah. persistent or not. I've got it taken care of. The We hear that. How many times do you hear that a day? I got it taken care of. Got it all taken care of. All right. Who wants to be the person who has it all taken care of uh, for, for Cam? I can do it. All right. Awesome, Norell. All right. Let's go. I'll meet myself and you guys ring them in, Cam. Hold on. Um, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Is this Bruce? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Bruce. Uh, who's this? Hey, how you doing? My name's Cameron. Uh, damn, I just lost my whole train of thought. Oh, hold on. How you doing? My name's Cameron. Um, is this Phil? I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> how can I help you? Yeah, so um, I'm actually a probate specialist. I know you're going through the probate process. Didn't know if you had a couple minutes just to hear me out, see if you needed uh, possibly some help. Uh, you know, I, again, how, first of all, how did you get my number? So actually, um, I help families through the process. I run down to the courthouse and I just ask around and see how if there's any families. Um, I usually pull a list and. <clears throat> Get uh, families going through the process. Uh, you know, we do have an attorney. Um, you know, I, I think we're we're good. I think we we're all taken care of for now. So actually, my capacity, I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate agent or anything like that. Again, I do help families. Um, didn't know how far along you are in the process. Maybe I could help you starting from there. Um, what I do basically is just I work outside. Of, I don't know why I'm like. Um, 
no, no worries, Cam. You wanna you wanna um, we can we can break this down right here if you want. If you want, unless you want to keep. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, let me. Yeah, let me uh, finish this part. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my capacity, I don't. I'm not a real estate agent. I'm not an attorney or anything like that. I do help families go through the process. Didn't know. If... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, did you hear me? Yeah. Go ahead. I hear you. <laughs> so um. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate agent or anything like that, but I do help families go through the process. To know. What's up? Don't worry. Keep on going. Yeah. You got to keep nah, going, brother. But can you hear me, though? Because I just said it like four times. We can hear you. It's just some background noise, but just keep on going. Oh. Okay. Can you hear me now? Is it clearer? Yeah, we can hear you. It's not you. It's other other people. Go ahead. Oh, 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 um, yeah. So, not a real estate agent, not an attorney. Um, I do help families go through the process. Didn't know how far along you are in the process. Maybe I can help starting there. Just don't before. So, I'm not sure what to expect until we started. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Yeah, we just started it's early in the process, so yeah, I don't know what to expect. We like I said, we just we just started the process like two weeks ago. Okay, understandable. Did you guys fill out a paperwork? Do you guys have a will? Like, is there anything like that going on? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, there is a will. Um, so we yeah. Uh, so you guys are going off. through it. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. No. Uh, yeah. So we, we the attorney has our paperwork. So. Okay. So you guys are going through informal right now? You guys are kind of quicker process than formal? Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, to me, it seems all formal. So I, I, I would imagine it's formal. I, I don't know the difference. Yeah. Okay. Understandable. It's just when you're informal, you have a will. Informal, you have to kind of go through a longer process. Didn't know if the attorney told you that part of it. But um, like I said, what I do, I can help facilitate just um, preservation of the estate. Are you living out of state right now? Uh, I, I, yeah, something we, are out of, we are out of state. Uh, I do have a brother who's kind of not too far from from the property. But, uh, yeah, I'm currently out of state. Okay. Understandable. So how many of you are there siblings-wise? Was there a couple of you? You, your brother? Uh, just me and my brother. That's it. Okay, that's cool. And he's the decision maker. Is he, you're the personal representative, or he's the decision? Yeah, maker no, well? I'm I'm the I'm the personal representative. And but again, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna you know we'll we'll make all the decisions pretty much uh, equally yeah. together. So. That's that's pretty cool. Any uh, friction there? Anything like that? No, no, no we're all good. Oh, uh, that's cool. I mean, because you know you get situations where siblings are fighting and it gets ugly. So, Cam, I really got to go, but uh, is there anything else? There? Yeah, you uh, mind if I send you my information and stuff like that? Maybe we can uh, reconnect. Uh, yeah, you can just mail it to the house. I mean, just, yeah, just mail it to, to mom's house. Uh, that, that's cool. Well, just to make it a little easier, um, you mind if I grabbed your email information just so I can have it? Uh, yeah, no, I don't like spam. I don't like email. So just, just mail me something. I'm good. Okay. Understandable. So I'll uh, drop something off at the house. Sounds good, man. Thank you for for the call. All right, have a good day, buddy. All right, thanks, Cam. Thanks, Norrell. Yeah, sorry about that. We had people coming in, and uh, so besides the little uh, bumpy uh, uh, audio, what are you thinking, uh, Cam, uh, Norrell? Then anybody can share it. I got a couple of notes. Um, I mean, I just overall, I I know I've heard Cam before. I know he's comfortable. I don't. He got, seems like he got a little thrown <laughs> off, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what it was. I literally just left the constable's office and I was kind of shaking up. Uh, I don't know what it was because um, I just wanted to see if, I, you know, we can work together possibly at doing real estate, but I don't know. I just was kind of out of it. But yeah. That's awesome to be able to do it. I think, with the yeah, I think just, I think just, you know, you just got to deliver. And I, you know, I get the same way sometimes. I mean, you just got to deliver Hi, the Marley. message. How are you today? Um, and, and you know, just uh, again, don't ask for permission. I think when you ask for the email, don't yeah. ask for permission. Just say, yeah. hey, you know, let me shoot you an email of our services and how we can help you. Yeah. You know, what's your best email? And then yeah. just take it. Down. What's a good email to share? Yeah. 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 Uh-oh. I picked up. 
I picked up on a couple of those things. You um like even from the jump, you started off with asking permission, to like can I, uh, uh going for yes. Like uh is it a I mean, I think before you even could clearly state what you were calling for, you asked uh uh is there if we talk a little bit about your your probate, which is asking them to say yes. I, I think I mean this may be a okay. uh, this may be a uh, opinion, but I think it's more powerful to go for no. Like, s sounds like I'm catching you at a bad time, you know, as opposed to can we speak right now? Because uh, mm -hmm. sounds like catching a bad time gives them control, gives them the opportunity to say no, this is a good time, or yes, it's a bad time. And regardless of what they say, mm -hmm. you always, you can follow up. Okay, great. Well, I won't take up too much of time. Just want to make sure I, and then, you know, uh, fill that out. Um, okay. Also, when he did have the objection about you being uh, an attorney, um, I think, like we, we we say sometimes, make sure that you affirm. Oh, great, gotcha. Uh, and the thing that I like to say, and some people say also, um, and maybe other um, ways to do this, but that's great. A lot of folks we work with uh, have attorneys. It makes the job even easier. So it's like you're already mm -hmm. edifying yourself by you know notif letting them know that you work with folks in the past. Having an attorney is awesome, and that's like that's not actually going to be an objection. It actually it actually support the stuff you're doing. Good job well, finding the the deal, uh, or at least asking for the deal breakers. Uh, um, uh, I think the question about any friction. There's nothing wrong with asking difficult questions, but sometimes you may even want to ask permission. Hey, do you, uh, do you mind if I ask you uh, how, how's that how's that working out? Or there's other ways to ask that you know that you can. Yeah, because that's the BBM yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are what other folks think? I don't want to um, bombard with a, a lot of stuff, but what other folks think? Anybody have any? Anything that uh, Cam did yeah, well it, or maybe want to focus on? Give it to me, guys. I need that. I need that. Cam, this is Bernie. I, I'm curious. You're not a realtor. Are you an investor? What is your yep. actual role? So I'm an investor. I, I know I, a lot of you guys are agents. I'm sorry I used it against you guys. But um, it's just, for me, sometimes it just disarms people. You know, they're like, well, you know, and usually they don't ask, like, well, what do you do? I have to explain it, so... Well, I would be curious as to what ultimately role you want to play. And, and mm -hmm. I was just thinking, uh, I'm wondering where you're coming from because you didn't give any clue to that. Maybe so I, that's on purpose. I'm an investor that helps people go through the process. Um, okay. That's basically what I would, you know, tell them. Uh, yeah, there may be an opportunity to ask directly about the um, property. Okay, so what are your plans for the prep? I'm not, I can't be honest. I can't remember if you asked that. Uh, are you open minded to a to a cash offer or or? Is that no, I, I was gonna I was gonna save that for last. Like, yeah, I got you. Kind of build around it, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, with decision makers, mm -hmm. and then just ask them about like, hey, so what are you doing about the property? Mm -hmm. I got you. Cool, just cool, to cool. see if like the decision makers are even you know cool with selling because they get. Just be like, nah, we're good. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, I have to I work backwards. It. Well, heck yeah. Well, thanks for jumping in as always, Cam, being willing to, to go first and, of and all that good stuff, man. All right. Um, anybody else have anything else for Cam or anybody want to jump in? Who's who's uh who can who wants to be next? Uh, if possible, I, I would like to make that call. Kobe in the gym. All right, who's gonna be with Norel? Am I saying your name right? Norel? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. see it all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Who wants to to be the uh, decision maker or one of the decision makers for Norell? And Norell, is there anything particular you want them? Any objection you want them to focus no, on? No, just, just, nah, just you know, just go with the flow. Right. Yeah, yeah. Dig it, dig it. I'll I'll do it. All yeah, right. I, awesome. Sounds I'll good. Was that David? Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you, Dave. Um, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, David. Uh, this is Noriel. Uh, thank you for taking my call this afternoon. I was calling in regards to the estate of Joe Blow. Uh, it looks like you're the administrator of the estate. Does that look about right? Yeah, I'm working on it. It's been a few months. Yeah. So, uh, who are you again, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> no. My name is Noriel. Um, oh. I was calling. Yeah. No, I was calling because, uh, again, yeah, it looks like uh, you're the administrator of the estate. And what we do is... Uh, we assist families that are going through the probate process, Dave, uh, with concierge services to ultimately help you and the estate save time and net more money. For example, we've assisted with property cleanouts. We've assisted with estate sales if that's something that is needed. And lastly, if there's any real estate, Dave, that needs to be sold as part of the estate, 
uh, part of the probate, we have a few options that may be helpful to you. Do you think any of those options are helpful to you at this time or in the near future? Yeah, I mean, was, uh, Mr. Blow had a house full of crap, so uh, we're just now getting in the front door. We can barely open the front door, so yeah, if you I, do, you, do you offer that for free or what does it what does it cost? You know, great questions. And uh, tell me a little bit, about Mr. Blow was uh, was that a family member or what was or was he a friend or what's the relation? Uh, he was uh, my brother's gay lover. Your brother's gay lover. I hear you. And so he was a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, he he collected everything, everything yeah. trash or everything related to trash. You know, so. Dave, and that's that's not uncommon. We see that, you know, a lot with the families that we assist. So yeah, that's something that we can definitely help you with the clean out. Um, you know, we would have to evaluate how much junk is in the house. Have you gone through the belongings to see what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep? Uh like I said, we're just barely getting into the door, so it's probably okay. all gonna be trash. Uh we're just gotcha. we gotta we gotta probably sell the house uh, eventually. After we get it cleaned out, so sounds like uh, yeah, I like what you're so, saying. So yeah, we, when is uh, when will you be at the property next? That way we can evaluate how much you know we can uh, you know how much clean out will be necessary. We're actually going there today at four, uh, you know, after school. So after pick up the the kids, we're going to about three thirty, four o'clock today. You know, I, you know, I, I do have an appointment attending around that same time, so I'll stop by, Dave, and uh, take a look at it. And I can give you my opinion on, you know, what we can do to help you with that and selling the property. That's something that you said you're you're leaning towards doing, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Again, um, Dave, since I do have you on the phone, and uh, what's a, a good email? That way I can shoot you some my information and we can connect, uh, like, the letter today. What's a good email for you? Uh, 123yahoo.com. 123yahoo.com. Fantastic. Uh, Dave, my name is Noriel Sandoval. Uh, I'm going to shoot you a text, and I'll see you at 4 o'clock, okay? Nice. Thank All you. right. Thanks. I look forward to talking to you. Me too. That's good. Yeah. I didn't give you much uh, problem, but. No, you were. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was trying to you were show me a more, a more curve buzz. But... <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, I was thinking about it, but I don't want to be. Yeah. That was nice. What, what do you think, yeah, Dave? Any, any feedback <laughs> for Noriel and anyone else? Just he laid down like my dog after a big meal, man. He was just down on the floor. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no script on these. I mean, it's just uh, human to human conversation. Yeah. So it, and you never know who you're gonna meet. You know, today I'm gonna meet him at four o'clock. That's great, and that's probably the only person I'll end up uh, talking to, uh, selling the house. So it's such an advantage. Hey, I, I also um I also thought. Did you all notice that? When you uh, asked a question, you said "great question" and did not answer the question, and so you don't necessarily it, just affirming, and then you reversed it by coming back with a question as if you needed more information so that you could answer even better, and that just allowed you to keep control. And you got uh, the the character Dave uh, Dave talking like "great question." Then you reverse. So is that your brother, or is that your who that is? You know, it already sounds like you guys are just. Like Dave said, just having a conversation and just door open to, yeah. I'm ready. So that was awesome. Um, did you guys? I thought that was really cool. What else? I think I, I, I think I should have. I think I sometimes speak too fast trying to get to the call, but I think yeah, maybe too. I need to just just slow it down just a tad bit. Yeah. I mean, of course, you're yeah. you're driving now, which is uh, awesome because you're participating. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that folks are being safe. If you got a driving call. Do so, but uh, you know, taking notes is so important because there may be some stuff when you go back that you see. Oh, his tone was like this, or there was a dog in the background. So being able to have access to take notes is is important. But uh, of course, this is just a call. And yeah, what else are we thinking, folks? Anybody else got any more feedback? No, I thought he was smooth. Uh, I, I picked yeah. up some good stuff from it. So uh, yeah, I liked it. Heck yeah. And Dave was getting into character, man. Thanks for jumping in <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the rich background story. <laughs> he had the character fleshed out. All yeah, right. Okay. I see. Uh, well, two things. One, um, Zach has a question. Zach W., uh, what's the best way to set an appointment if they are out of state? Um, anybody either want to role play that or have any suggestions for, um, for that? And then I see also uh, 
uh, Cleve wants to go. So we're going to um, make sure he goes and he has a direct scenario. So but first, uh, anyone have a, a phrase or, or way they approach out-of-state PRs when they're trying to set up an appointment for? For me, as I would a, just set it up for a Zoom call. Like that's yeah. that's yeah. the only thing I would even think of to do is if they're out of state and they want to talk about it, let's get, let's jump on a Zoom. I'll uh, go over what we do for you and talk about what your plans are and just kind of take it that way. Yeah. Unless they're going to come down to Florida and go look in the house, which right. we can meet there then too. Zoom call, yeah, awesome. Uh, I I also like to ask. Or, um, you know, what is the access, you know, during discovery conversation, what's the access to the property? And, you know, it might be a possibility for you to get over there, get your eyes on it, maybe have a video call there or, you know, uh, at a later set time. Um, but, yeah, out of state is, is gold. Well, that's one of the this reasons one, that. Yeah, sorry. No, this, is not sorry. this is one of the one of the struggles that I have is when they are out of state. Getting, you know, and if it's early in the process, how do, what can I incentivize them to get on the Zoom? What, what can I, you know, what, what would be a strong value proposition to say, you know what, you know, and if it's worked a few times where I say, hey, what, 15 minutes would be what's your time to show you how we can, you know, save you, you know, time or how we can, uh, you know, how you can earn, earn you know, net more. I mean, I, sometimes I, it works, but I just never haven't been able to. Yeah. I hear you. It seems yeah. like that the whole even even the approach to how, getting the uh, the email address almost that assumption. All right, so it looks like the next step. It probably best if we hop on like a Zoom. I can show you. Uh, I can go over and show you a little more clearer uh, some of the things we may be able to do for you or with you. And, you know, just as matter of fact as possible. You know, it's not like almost. Hey, do you mind if we get on a Zoom and I see your face and you see mine? You know, just uh, more of a. I, that's what I would, the next. Yeah, that's that's the that's next the next step, step right? in the process. You know, yeah, it's just. Is as natural as, as ever. That's one way I would. Anybody else have any suggestions or? Yeah, I like that. Uh, all, all right. I uh, hope that helped, um, Zach W. And feel free to jump up if you want to um, clarify or ask any more questions about that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, C Cleve, I think I'm saying your name right, Cleve Dennis. You're going to go and someone. So that is invested. correct. Uh, can awesome. you hear me? Yeah, awesome. Do you want to read over what you um or or repeat what okay. you? What, yeah. Yeah, well, I can. Uh, I'll just go ahead and call you. So I'm going to be calling you, Courtney. Okay. Uh, you're going to give me the rebuttal about your attorney. I want to go at least go over my um, USP. Um, but the main thing is, you know, I've got to rebut. My attorney's got it handled. Okay. I got you. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, I, I don't know if I have the right number. Um, is this uh, Courtney? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is. What's this, what's this about? Hey, uh, Courtney, uh, my name is Cleve Dennis. Uh, are you by any chance involved with the estate of Bob Smith? Uh, that was my uncle. What's going on? Okay. If you were close, I imagine it's been a, a rough few months for you. What I do is, uh, well, I sent you a couple of letters regarding the probate that you're working on. Uh, it's, am, am I catching it at a bad time? Um, no, not really. I was about to have lunch, but uh, but yeah, okay. I've already got an attorney taking care of it, so I'm I'm pretty good to go, man. Um, yeah, yeah, and I assume your attorney looks like you're working with a Tina with attorney Lisa Lee. I, I imagine she's taken most uh, most of the uh, of the issues. Have she mentioned anything uh, about the um the vacant coverage insurance? Vacant, vacant coverage insurance. Yes. Yeah. What What do you mean? Okay. Okay. So the reason I call a lot of times, I just to let you know what we we do. I don't know if it's going to be beneficial. I just want to take a minute to let you know what we do. We're not the attorney, and what we do is we provide estate management services to the community. We assist the attorney with the non legal or non attorney aspects of the process, and and what I mean by that is we can help you with property cleanup junk removal, repairs, and remodeling. And I did notice that the property was vacant. And so just so you know, uh, you always want to check with the insurance agent just to make sure that the initial coverage that's on there now does cover you if it's vacant. Because sometimes the homeowner's insurance does not cover the home once someone is left and there's no one occupying the, uh, the property. Uh, does that make sense? 
No, so you, you're selling insurance? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying, uh, well, let me ask you something. Uh, how far are you in the probate process? Uh, I mean, my my uh, attorney's taking care of it. I just signed over to her. So, I mean, uh, I haven't heard anything um, back or, or anything like that. But in, Okay, um, so maybe I, maybe I didn't explain the insurance thing clearly. Mm -hmm. The property is vacant from what I understand. Is that correct? Um, yeah, who's this again? I don't know. If, yeah. Okay, so my name is Cleve Dennis. We assist attorneys with the uh, non-attorney issues regarding real estate. So mm -hmm. we take care of the um, thing that has to do with anything involved with possibly pre preparing the, the, uh, the home for sale. And mm -hmm. so, as I mentioned, what I do may not be beneficial to you. It was just mm -hmm. a courtesy call. Did you receive oh. a letter from me? Do you remember seeing that letter? I'm, I've been getting a lot of, uh, I got a lot of stacks of letters, man, from a, a lot of folks, man. I don't know if, sorry, okay, I don't yeah, know if yeah. Not, I, I, I got you. I, I it's, I, I, did you, it's, it's one, it's in the blue envelope. Do you remember seeing that? Um, maybe, man. I see, I get a lot of, uh, maybe one over there. I, yeah. I, look, I'm with you. I understand it. I know it's, it, it probably has to be annoying to get hounded like that, but it's just mm. another service that, that folks provide in the real estate sector. So um, let me ask you something. I, when you're a personal representative, there are always so many issues to take care of. What's the one thing we can take off your plate right now? Take off my plate, man. I'm. Uh, I mean, we're pretty good to go. I mean, we're going to eventually. I mean, we're going to eventually need to sell the property. I'm just waiting for the green light from a, from a, you know, from the from Lisa from the attorney. Once okay. I get that. So, okay, got you. So I imagine there's a, quite a few people involved with that. Um, is that right, or is it just you that has to make that decision regarding the well, sale? I, I think I'm I'm the executor, he, and he named me the executor of the estate. It's just me, but of course I got to run everything by my, you know, by my wife and my my sister. Um, okay. Okay. So really there's just be... to keep everybody on the same page. Okay. Okay. And just between me and me, between me and you, if you were to, um, I know y'all have to make the decision, but are you, are, are y'all leaning towards selling it or keeping the property? What are you, what are you thinking? Yeah, like I said, we're, we're, I'm going to sell it. I just, okay, I just want to yeah. do everything the right way, you know. I don't know. Okay, you did say uh, you're going to sell. Is that, so is that you? Uh, yeah, you can help with that or something, or. Okay. All right, all right, Courtney. I don't want to take up all the time right now. I think we can leave it right there and let, oh, let everybody oh. critique the, the call yeah thank you very oh, much man, i was getting into it man no, all right cool <laughs> cool uh anybody no, want to jump I'm, in I'm, nice, just, nice. I'm just conscious of not hogging the calls so. oh no i dig it man people can you know well i, I dig it so uh yeah it, what, what were we thinking about folks nice job cleve i'm not hearing uh, i didn't get at the beginning and, and the same with the last one. I really didn't get like what you were bringing to the table. Like I was waiting to hear that, and you know, it just seemed so kind of vague and ne nebulous that I wasn't really sure. Like, what are you going to do for me? Like, if I'm, you know, why are you calling me, sending me the letter? But what am I going to get out of it? That I didn't seem that that was really clear to me. Okay, got you. I'll just. Uh... To reply to that, I think I mentioned four things that we do specifically: cleaning the property, junk removal, all in pro. You know, I, I did mention quite a few of that, but I I see what you're saying. You're saying I was too vague. Yeah, it was just that, like, you, I I don't know. I wish I had a replay because at the beginning I was kind of lost, and then I followed you, mm -hmm. and um, because I'm new, I like I've never even I think I've talked to maybe three probate people. I get these all the lead things, and I'm just now starting to you know figure it out without having the isa do everything for me um but it just seems like i would want to know who you are up front um you know like identify yourself what are you calling me for what do you want to do um and do i have a need okay. for that you know I'm identify gonna, if i have a need for that, who, that who i think that's I, the biggest who thing. am i speaking with I'm sorry. This is Jim speaking? Steele in uh Florida. Okay Jimmy I think I did identify myself to Courtney and I think I kind of established what I did. So I think I'm this. Gonna, well, I, I think to, to, to a little bit on that. Yeah. 
to to the point that I mean that's that's I mean I, I was a school teacher for many years and I think a lot of us can attest to this. You know perception is reality and sometimes I can give instructions over and over and I think I'm clear as ever, okay. but then the kids yeah. will come back and not so if the feeling of the call is you may have said everything, you've done this a hundred times, you know, and if the feeling of the call for is still a little unclear, that may be okay. um, what comes across. So that may be what gotcha. you know the, the feeling the gym uh brought. I thought um I, I think you did a, a really solid job of like um just uh like the affirming and the nonverbals um were, were, I thought were solid. Um I think it was I, I know I love to hear other people's opinions like leading with the vacancy insurance. I feel like that could that could work in some ways. Um and uh i think it was just maybe it was just the 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 actual steps that that it was that was explained in because uh, i think that it did have perk my interest in like hey what uh, what do you mean about this vacancy insurance and um you're able to explain some of that and that gave you your leeway into you know talking about what you can do with the property um but it did come off a little uh unclear at the it being so okay. early in the conversation gotcha and um, so but, I, I brought it up early because I am thinking of using that as a strategy to mention so for me to mention the attorney up front before yeah. they even mention it. That's my, that's pretty cool too. Like you know, yeah. you, it sounds like you 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 know you're in the in the space in the business. You uh, refer to Lisa. I just wonder, like uh, I, I don't know. I wonder if maybe asking about the or I I wonder what people think about assuming or saying that it's vacant. Like uh. I don't know if I'm getting too much in the weeds, but like, uh, would we know that it's vacant before it's? Yeah, actual that was vacant? that was one thing that I made a note because uh, he he said it was vacant. I'm like, did you drive by? I mean, how do you know? <laughs> you know, I was like, because a lot of the leads I get, um, you know, that I've looked at so far have the 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 PR address and the deceased address are the same. So and that's a I'm good point. yeah, I'm gonna that's... assume that they're living in the property, you know, yeah. because of because of that. Now I could be wrong. But um, yeah, that was that was just another thing that I was like, wait, how did he know it was vacant? Yeah, I like the insurance thing. I think that's yeah, a really yeah. great, a great lead in, um, you know, because, again, most people are going to say, you know, I'm working with the attorney. They got that handled. Oh, great. Well, did they tell you about, you know, yeah. the insurance? That might <laughs> and I think that's a great way yeah. to, you know, kind of get another conversation going, um, you know, with them. So I like that. I'm going to definitely use that. I, I, I like how did you, um, Cleve? How did you say that again? That that insurance? What's it called? Uh, so what I usually say is, I, I see that you're working with uh, Attorney Lisa Lee. I imagine she's taking most uh, taking care of most of the issues for you. Has she mentioned anything about the uh, the vacant property insurance? Oh, just and, vacant. Uh, that's it's called vacant property insurance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I, I like that because it stopped Courtney. Courtney said, eh, "Wait a minute." You, he said, "Wait, what do you mean? What are you talking about?" Mm -hmm. So obviously, the Lisa Lee did not even mention that to him. From yeah, and that I may heard. right there, maybe it's just an insert of, "Oh uh, yeah, just, just real quick, what's the um? Is the property occupied or is it vacant?" <laughs> oh, okay, it's vacant. All right, with well, um, well, then you can go into. A little and, more deeper. And also, they they will correct you and say, "Hey, mm -hmm. it's not vacant." So you've got to be prepared for that. And I've got actually someone calling for me, and I tell her, "Hey, if they correct you, don't get defensive. Just ask another oh, yeah. question and keep asking, going." Uh, yeah, asking questions that are, is it helps you. Whoever's asking most questions and talking the least usually is controlling and steering the conversation. Yeah, awesome, awesome, folks. Oh, thanks, Cleve, for jumping in, man. Um. Awesome. Uh, if anybody have anything else, I'm going to move on to the next. I see Bruce Hill is here. What's going on, Bruce? What's happening, guys? Yeah, we're Sorry, around, I can't man. I can't figure out why my camera is not working, but uh, we might get it up here. Otherwise, you might just hear my voice. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. All right. So I see one here, uh, Ileana, if I'm saying it incorrect, Ileana, how to handle objection. Hey, my relative just died. Have some respect. I'm tired of all the calls trying to uh, buy my home. Now this last thing, don't call again. Uh, let's role play that. Who wants to step in? Liana, you want to step in, or you want to be the uh, person who's who's making a statement? And someone want to help her see what this could sound like, and we can break. Yeah, this apart. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, all right. All right. So, Liana, you want to be the person saying "Don't call again"? And well, no. Nah, if, 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 if they ever tell me "Don't call again," I'm not calling. 
That's what I was exactly. They tell me don't call again. That's that's the last caveat. So how about we just uh, how about uh, yeah? Because Ileana, if they say don't call again, they're getting some legal issues there and all that different stuff. So you might want to respect that. But if there's hey, if it's, it's too soon, I'm getting all these calls. Let's work on that one. Ileana, are you still here? I'm here. Can you hear oh. me? Yeah, got you. All right. He's about to ring you in, or um, and you're the you're the you're the uh the decision maker. Well, just, okay, I've never right. really well, done no, that. Oh, Mike, just, go ahead and give it to me. Just give me the the uh, give me your objection. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Right now. Okay. So you're calling? No, you no, just, just jump into it. Objection. You're already you're already in mid conversation. Ready? Hey, I'm so tired of these calls. Have a little respect. My relative just died. What do you want to buy the house? I've been listening to this all day. Yeah, yeah. You know, you probably think I'm the lowest form of person on the on the planet uh, planet Earth, and you're probably tired of people disrespecting you and your family. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's just got to be really annoying that all these people are are just bugging you to death, and and all they care about is trying to buy real estate from you when that's the last thing on your mind. Well, then what what is the purpose for your call? Yeah, I mean, is it crazy to think that that uh, there is there are people out there that, that are interested in trying to help you take some of the anxiety out of the probate process and maybe maybe just give you the opportunity to to get back to a normal life in a quicker fashion? Well, you know, um, we haven't thought about what we're thinking to do with the property. Well, that's good, and I'm glad I didn't ask you about the property because that's got to be the last thing on your mind right now. You probably got like a thousand and one things you need to think about before selling that house. Yeah, my brother is currently living in the property, and my other sister just wants to sell like me and get it over with. Yeah. But he's the one keeping us from selling. All right. So time out. Time out. We're done. That's that's how I would handle that objection. Ileana, what you think, or or anybody? Say it again. Uh, what, what are your thoughts? My thoughts were that he handled pretty good um, the, about the respect and um, basically, <laughs> basically, it gave me the thought that he was more caring. And I like the fact that he brought the objection. Yeah, I am. You probably do think I'm the scum of the earth, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so that was good, you know. Uh, yeah. All right, let, me, uh, let me explain. Let me explain the reason why you think that. So that is a technique called uh, negative strip by mm -hmm. Jim Camp, and Jim the whole Kent. idea is when the person, the client, thinks it goes negative, then your response you need to go oh, as sorry. negative or more negative, because when that happens, the person you're talking to, it it jolts their mind, and they think, well, no, I really don't think you're a scumbag. I really don't know you. So I I changed your whole thought process by going more negative than you were that's the yeah. concept that's that's straight from jim camp starting with no great resource uh, all of his work is awesome also dale carnegie way back in the day how to win friends and influence people if somebody i, I do this with my I do this with my wife sometimes. If she gets upset at me, I'm automatically, yeah, you're right. I was terrible. I was wrong. I just, you know, I get more negative because it it pulls it 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 allows that pendulum to swing a little bit back into to the more even mode. Even with with sellers who are super hyped, sometimes I'll pull away so that uh so we're not, you know, overzealous and we're really helping people not have uh, you know, seller's remorse or buyer's remorse. But yet um I think Mike did a great job of, of, of doing just that. So, um, you know, when you th you probably think I'm this or and I, you, this is probably the last thing on your mind. And um, yeah, it's, Courtney, that yeah. comes straight out of um, never split the difference with uh, Chris. Yeah, Voss. Too, yeah, there's a lot. Chris Voss is, says the same thing. Yeah, they're, they're all talking about human psychology and how you know, how, how we're set up. Um, and so being able to leverage that so that you can put yourself in position to see if you can help. Is, is so powerful, so important. What else are folks thinking about that that approach? Or any approach or anything you might uh, give it's to them? It's almost like a pattern interrupt also because mm. that's the last thing that the, uh, I guess the person is expecting. You know? uh, I would have liked to hear more of him now taking the opportunity 
to offer the services mm -hmm. and how he could have helped. He could take it that opportunity. I dig that. I dig that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, so he was good and kind of, um, listening and understanding and and you know that negativity that we just talked about and when she said you know a lot of people are calling me um would it be a good idea okay yes i i hear that a lot of people are calling you i know you're busy can I, would you suggest or anything about following up in a month to you know can i call you back in a month and see how things are going so my personal opinion is I'm not going to ask that question. I'll just follow up in a month if I, so if, if I feel it's necessary. I'm not going to ask to follow up. I mean, I don't I don't think I need their permission to do that. And I'm I'm going to chime in. I know you guys can't see me. I'm going to chime in with uh, with Michael. Um, I don't want to give them um, such an easy path to say no, don't do that. Because once they say no, don't do that, it you're kind of stuck you're kind of hoping that they've just forgotten when you yeah. when you when you call next month and maybe they have forgotten but you're definitely hoping so if you call and they didn't forget they're going to be like didn't i tell you not to call last month and now you're you're toast um so normally and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say hey listen um I'm going to shoot you some information on what I do. You don't need anything right now. Completely understand. Let me send you some details on, on what I do. Look it over. You call me if you need anything. All the power goes to them. Give them every piece of uh, all the feeling of power. Mm -hmm. And then like Michael said, I'm just going to call back in a month or I'm just going to call back in a week or two weeks. Um, they, they don't, need the opportunity to reject it they need the opportunity to feel like they're in control yeah. got it yeah great thanks yeah and another thing folks especially if folks who aren't uh, making as many calls and maybe uh, apprehensive about uh people being in this state can this conversation happen i've actually had conversations like this before but they're far and few between at this by the time someone's filed probate gone to the courts or even e-filed whatever they're doing they've I mean, the process, I can't, they're, they're in a position, they're in a place where they're, you know, they're handling business. So th this is a great role play to go over because you may receive, you may get it. Um, and it's always great to practice empathy. Um, but just know this is not necessarily going to be the norm. Um, there's even sometimes like I'm calling today, I was calling February probates. And so a lot of them, that's February. I, I was just calling and I just straight up asked about the property. I called as if it was, I'm calling about a distressed property because at that point, most of the probates have been taken care of. So if I'm fumbling around with the concierge service, my message may not be clear and and, and give more reasons to shut me down. So I, uh, so just all to say, still make the calls and uh, don't be afraid of these, uh, these calls or, or thinking about the people's emotional state there. Usually put good to go. Hey, Courtney, how does that, um, would you mind sharing, how does that one sound for you after yeah, the February ones? After uh, February, oh, yeah, I'm just calling this is straight up. Uh, yeah, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, I'm speaking to Nor Noriel. Yeah. Hi, Noriel, this is Courtney. I'm, uh, I know this call's a little out of the blue, but I was calling about a, a property, I think, I'm not sure, I think you may own it, 321 Main Street. I'm trying to buy a property in the area, just seeing if you might consider uh, selling that property there. But it sounds like I'm probably catching you at a bad time here. No, it's fine. We're Yeah, we're about to put this market sell this property in the next few weeks oh sure cool cool well uh, well i'm i'm looking to buy uh, is this how about uh i'll tell you how we work and then maybe see if we're um work together yeah cool, yeah then. that's fine yeah, right, no, well, okay. and then i go there. then i say i base my offers on market value and the condition so what can you tell them about the condition of the property and then we just go into the discovery gotcha. oh cool okay thank you yeah that's i like to go if it's if you're waiting for another one i'm going to try this oh sure I don't know who's talking. Somebody. Oh, is, is that Jim? Jim. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. So first of all, I want to say something. I was on the call yesterday, and we were talking about your YouTube channel, which I subscribe to and hey. watch the half dozen of your videos. Dude, hey. it's awesome. I love oh, it. Thanks, I'm, I'm patterning myself after you, so it's very cool. Oh, Except okay. I'm, a, I'm actually an agent, so I have to kind of do it that way. But, oh, uh, I mean, just the content stuff that you have, awesome. I, I look forward to a lot more, uh, watching a lot more of your videos. Great stuff. Well, thanks, Jim. Thanks no so much, man.
All right, cool. That's awesome. So you're gonna you wanna uh, you have a scenario you want us to go over, or is it just a raw? Uh, no, no. I just want to I just want to practice calling because like normally I just have my ISA do it. Yeah. But then I always think I can be better than them, and maybe I should just do it myself. You know, put yeah, the no one's gonna care on about your leads as much it. as you. We definitely yeah, want to scale. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to scale. But uh, yeah, but yeah. So who who wants to be the uh, the decision maker, personal representative? Yeah, I'll do it, Gord uh, Gordy. All right, awesome. I'll mute myself, and you guys uh -huh. jump in. Ring them in. All right, great. Ring, ring. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hi. Is this? I forget what your name. Uh, Michael. Yeah, this is me. Who's who's calling? Hi, Michael. My name's Jim Steele with Suncoast Probate Pros. Uh, the reason for the call is um, I got your uh, information from the clerk of courts in, in the county here, and it looks like you're dealing with a, a probate situation. Is that right? Yeah, that, that's right, man. Uh, oh. we well, listen, first of all, I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. I know it's very difficult. Um, was Is it a family member? Uh, yeah, it was a family member. Absolutely. Yeah, it was um, my, uh, my granddad. Uh, well, I'm, I, you know, please accept my condolences. I'm sorry for your loss. Listen, Mike, I'll be really quick. The reason I'm reaching out to you is we offer a concierge service to help people deal with the uh, situation, the probate uh, process. And um, I just wanted to make sure you were taken care of, that you had everything that you needed um, with regards to either, you know, property clean out or anything like that. Um, and I just wanted to introduce myself as a local expert and let you know that, you know, you have somebody that can help you if you need help with it. Well, I appreciate you have, that. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, we're still getting started. I don't know if we need anything or not right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate you calling. Do you have an attorney working on it yet, or have you not hired an attorney yet? Uh, yeah, we got an attorney. I got an attorney working on it. They're doing the Great. legal part. We're, we're still waiting for the letters of testamentary. I don't understand. I don't understand why it takes so long to get a simple piece of paper. Well, in Florida, everything takes forever. It, it, it's a normal process. So how long have you been dealing with it now? It says here you filed uh, a month ago. Does that sound about right? You've been, yeah, you've been we, we filed it a month ago. Yeah, we filed it a month ago. You know, well, you know, he, he died a, actually a couple months ago. So we just, just filed it. So I guess, you know, four or five months is what we've been dealing with overall, total, I guess. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And do you need any help with the property, whether it be clean out or, you know, getting rid of, you know, old cars or anything like that? Um, are you planning to keep the property in the family? Well, you asked me like three questions there. Which one, which one are you asking? Any one of them that result, <laughs> that's related to your situation. Uh, yeah, well, we're just, we haven't figured it out yet, right? We're just still started. We're trying to work and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I, we're just, we're not in a super hurry, so I, I the answer to that is I, I don't know yet, to be honest with you. Okay. Okay, great. Well, listen, um, I'm gonna, if it's okay with you, I have your information. I'd like to just send you an email with my website information on it. tells you what we do. And I am a licensed agent. So if you decide that you want to, you know, uh, not keep the property and, and sell it, I'd be glad to sit down with you and talk to you about options with that. Um, so I'll go ahead and send that over to you. And then I'll just follow up with you, you know, in the near future. And if you need anything, you'll have all my contact information. And if there's anything you need help with, you know, I'm glad to help you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, you've got uh, my phone number here. This is cell phone. You can just text it to me or, or mail it to me okay. or whatever. Bye. We'll do. Sounds great. Well, look, I don't want to yeah, take okay. up any more time. I appreciate you taking my call and I wish you the best with everything. Um, and like I said, if I can help, just reach out. I'll be here. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Mike, thanks. Take care. Okay. All right. So from, um, I, I'm really big in working on tools, right? Trying to you, practice your conversation tools. And so I heard a little bit of nurturing, heard, um, you know, a couple questions. Uh, you know, I don't, you didn't really go real deep in a needs analysis, trying to figure out what my pains and problems were. So, you know, it was, I felt comfortable, but I didn't feel like, uh, you know, it, it really, it didn't feel really deep, didn't feel connected to you, didn't feel like uh, rapport or trust had been built. So, uh, you know, I think it's just a lack of not having, you know, tools to practice with. And uh, Yeah, and I, I've only, I've never talked to anyone. So, I mean, I've never yeah. made a call. So, I'm not even sure that I know the process yet. Uh, you know, I'm very brand new with this. 
Um, tell, tell me how you would have done it. How, how would you build the rapport on the phone? Like that? Yeah, so, so the first thing I would have started out with, the first question I would have asked when we first started would have been asking you if, it had been a bad, if this was a bad time to talk. Okay. You would have responded. Then I would have told you that my, my mission is to uh, take the anxiety and stress out of the probate process and to give yeah, you back like that. time that you can like spend that. with your family and you can more or less use the time to heal or, or whatever. And then I would ask you, what's your biggest frustration so far with the oh, probate? Oh, that's a good question. That's a great question. And what's then the from there, question? and then from there, I would have just kept nurturing you, building trust before eventually would uh painted a picture for you about how we could solve the problem and then uh, asked you to make a decision about, you know, meeting with me and, and talking about, uh, you know, let's, let's talk about how to, how to solve your problem. No, that's so that's how I like it. that. Yeah. And that's the one cool. note I would, that's the one note I would pick on. I think I uh, pick up on, um, and even Mike uh, pointed out, uh, and I fall for this sometimes too, but we don't want a, a confused mind you know, wants to get off and say no. So he asked two or three or four questions in a row that can uh, be confusing. And um, I definitely encourage you to, to think about or to ask open-ended questions. Like uh, you did ask, do you need any help? As opposed to uh, even the way Mike just framed that, what's your biggest frustration? We may be able to help you. Yeah, with I like that. that. What's, what's your the biggest, biggest challenge? Because what's that's going to let them tell the story and they're painting the vision. So instead of us, you know, we, we're helping them paint paint their, their, their story and their pain. So uh, do you need any help is a yes or no, you know, and then when you start saying, well, I can help you with this. I can help you with that. I don't know if you did that, but I would definitely encourage people to be careful about listing everything we can do without it matching what they're asking for. So you asking to open in the question of what, what frustration you have, you may find out dealing with this, the cars in the garage or dealing with this nephew who's sitting in the, you know, and then you can tailor, uh, you can tailor your response to their needs, you know, and they, they sell themselves, basically they close themselves. So, um, yeah, so yeah, that's, great. that's good stuff. Thanks guys. I like that. That's good. Stuff. Uh, Jim, you, um, you, I, I, I role played with you, gosh, several weeks ago. Um, the smoothness and the way that you disarmed Michael on that was mm. phenomenal. Awesome. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, what I would, what I was um, listening for, and I was um, writing a message in chat to someone, and so you might have done this, and I missed it. But um, as you're kind of wrapping up the call, because you you just you just stripped away all the resistance, because it was just a low pressure introduce mm -hmm. myself call, stripping away the resistance. I'll send you some information. Um, what I would want you to do before you get off the phone is uh, a future pace uh michael or future pace the prospect and say hey listen <clears throat> i want you to look over everything and let me know during the probate process what you need by the way once probate is over once probate's over get them out of their current situation out of their current stress out of the current probate process and kind of put them in their mind five six twelve months into the future and then say um is the real estate something that you guys are kind of leaning toward holding on to keeping in the family or is it something you, you might sell and now why why do i say once real estate once probate's over um it's strictly because they're probably not in a position to ask for anything or want anything right now i'm, I'm guessing i'm saying probably they might they might be but most people aren't so i just want to get them off into the future so that they feel like in answering the real estate question um they're not committing themselves to something harsh or so they're not, they're not walking into a trap. So yeah, we're probably going to sell or we don't, we don't know yet or mm -hmm. um, worse, but still good. Uh, we don't have a house. Guess who you don't have to go chasing down anymore. So though I do want you to shift the topic to real estate just a little bit somehow. Um, I like to back into it as I've, um, as I've kind of disarmed them and, and sort of showed them that, hey, this calls mostly introduction and then ask the real estate question. But I, a lot of times I'm just not going to come out and say, hey, you're going to sell the house right now. It's going to be more more of that. Hey, once you're further along, is there real estate involved? Um, so I would have uh, if you and if you put the real estate question in there and I just missed it or it went over my head, um, 
Good job. No, I but, just asked him during the if if the they were going to keep the house and the family or if they'd thought about that yet. But I didn't really okay. get into it real estate. It did go over my head then. It did. All right, good. But this is great. This is so helpful, man. You don't even know. Cool. All right, Courtney. I'm on mute. I was here babbling, babbling away. But yeah, this is what we're here for, folks. This is uh, exactly what these uh, call uh, these role play sessions are for, for us to get the reps in. Um, looks like we have a little bit of time left, but I uh, did. There was a question that was posed to me, and I think it's an interesting one that may be better answered by some folks who uh, who are brokers or, or have real estate um, uh, experience. Um, uh, so if y'all don't mind, I would love to ask it just because so, it was in here. Uh, the question is: There's is there a type of agreement could draw up with the uh, the personal representative, similar to the right of first refusal, where the seller would give me the first shot of making an offer to buy the property, since I provide a considerable amount of assistance to them in preparing the property for sale. Um, anyone have now? From my experience, I, I I sometimes can set myself apart as a a vendor and provide uh, uh guidance and support for the probate, and I still can monetize that and get paid. Uh, but I'm an investor and I don't have a license, so I, I don't want to step on uh, any licensure issues uh, with folks. So anybody with, with that experience can respond to that question. Hey, Courtney, I think that um, it could go for both investors and oh, wow. someone with a license. Oh, cool. Um, I, I don't have a form that you guys can go look at or anything, anything like this, but I, I know of a few people that – have some sort of a um, right of first refusal written into uh, sort of a probate management agreement or a repair agreement or mm. um, some additional type of service that you provide. Um, you could, when you go in there and you're offering this extra service, and it might just be probate guidance, connections, resources, uh, management, could be paperwork, um, it, it could be repairs. There's just a ton of things that you can um, – provide them and you don't have to accept monetary payment. So you could say, Hey, you know, the only payment that I'm going to ask for is that I have a chance to make you an offer. Mm -hmm. And if anyone's better than me, that I have a chance to at least match them. That's a payment for services rendered. Um, you could do the same thing as a listing agent. Only thing I'm going to ask for is that, uh, I have a chance to show you how I can sell your property. And if somebody else uh, thinks that they can get you a higher price, then I have a chance to um, um, to, to talk to you about that. And, um, and I, I think that you could absolutely put it on a simple form that says, uh, it doesn't say, hey, you have to list with me, you have to sell to me, but it's more of a, I'm gonna do all these things for you. And instead of asking for money, I'm gonna ask for a chance to, at least make you an offer, at least match any other offer, at least um, give you a listing presentation, something like that, depending on what your business is. Awesome. Awesome. There it is. Uh, awesome, guys. And uh, Angela just asked a question about help with her website and create specific uh, you know, sites for the probate. And Sarah just shared her resource, her uh, website. So please check it out. It's in the group chat. And Sarah also uh, suggested that you check out resources like All the Leads. They have some already ready-made templates for you. There's tons of resources out there, um, Angela, but definitely check in with All the Leads. It's awesome space. Uh, Carrot is one that people go to quite often, but from last, I'm a Carrot uh, uh, subscriber, but I had to really copy and paste. I really copied and pasted from All the Leads, uh, the template to make it format for... Uh, for um for probate i do like carrot the way they um have some of their back end stuff to help my site have eyes on it but i also love the content that all the leads had so um there's tons of resources out there um yeah feel free to reach uh out um we could talk about that offline if you want angela um i'll put my information in the chat if you want to chat about that or if sarah wanted to or if anyone wanted to uh feel free and we could uh maybe talk more about that and point you hopefully in the right direction yeah so I'm going to point okay. out that your website is um, serves in one of two functions and and possibly both. So um, if you go with a templated website, which is great, I, I have no problem with people going to a templated website. Just recognize that if you don't do work on it or if you don't have someone doing work on it semi-frequently, semi-frequently, then um, – 
your site is only going to be found by people that you tell to go to it. So it's going to be found by the people that you speak with and you point to it. It's going to be found if you run ads. It's going to be found if you put it in a letter or a postcard. It, it'll really only be discoverable by the people that you've told about it. If you want organic reach, you've got to work on it. So you need to incorporate videos and blogs into your site. So little bit of a shout out. This is not a probate mastery product, uh, uh, but it is a product that uh, my marketing person is working on. Queenie, I don't see you here. Um, Queenie does a lot of the marketing and, and stuff for me. She's constantly in there reminding uh, folks. Um, she's working on a series of um, uh, somewhat customizable, semi-customizable uh, blogs that you mm -hmm. guys would be able to uh, use and plug into your websites, especially if it's a WordPress theme. Uh, and if you guys want that, maybe email support at probatemastery.com. My wife's going to shoot me when I get home because she monitors <laughs> that email. <laughs> yeah, Queenie says she's here too. Hey, Queenie's here. There you go. Yeah, oh, that Queenie, is Queenie. Yeah. Okay. On probate oh. mastery support. Perfect. Um, it's, I don't know how uh, it, it shouldn't be too far away from being done, but if you guys want, um, if you guys want, uh, something that you can start to get some organic reach through content that you're adding into your site um, from people that you haven't told to go visit your site. You might want to, you might want to connect with Queenie. Yeah, and that's exactly, Bruce, that's exactly what I do. All content. those videos. Oh, sorry. But all those videos that I do on YouTube, I take and post on my website. And sometimes I'll use the backlink and post it in other areas so that, you know, I'm having, that type of, uh, you know, uh, that type of attention. So when people are looking up, asking questions about uh, probate, they're going to see uh, that vlog link. So um, it's a great way to repurpose things and, and get people over there organically. Mm -hmm. um, hey, folks, we're at the, at, at the hour. Um, any last thing for the good of the order, Bruce, or, or anyone want to um, share anything? I'm good, man. I'm good. Oh. Anybody else? I think Courtney did a great job running this. I appreciate hey. you stepping in, man. Oh, thanks, thanks, Courtney. Man. Anytime. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for everyone who participated. And let's keep rocking. Let's go um, smile and dial and shake babies and kiss hands. Is my... I'm just kidding. All <laughs> right. Y'all take care.